Hi guys, um, I'm back now <clears throat> with this uh, Louis Vuitton little radio that I bought. And I just have to say, I've been playing with it for a while and I really like it. Now today's video is just going to be a quick video on how to program it uh, manually. Because uh, I'm going to plan on using this radio as like a spare, uh, uh, like a, for Aries radio, for one of my Aries guys. Or I'll put it in a jump bag. <clears throat> and a lot of times... When I get called out, whether it be the Red Cross or Aries, um, the communications that I've there, the the communication frequency that they give me isn't always this one that I use, and they always throw a wrench uh, in the in things and want me to go to another frequency, and so that's why I think it's better to learn how to program these manually before you use the software, and <clears throat> I will go through those steps. But the first thing, what I did up to this particular radio is I added some Anderson power connectors. That way, let me see if I have it here. When I use it for my Aries or Red Cross, I have a little cigarette lighter adapter for power. And I have the Anderson power connectors on the end of that. And I have a power distribution box I take with me that also takes the Anderson power connectors. So for me, that just seemed like a logical I or thing to do. And plus behind, underneath my bench, I've got an Anderson power strip, which I will plug it in right now. Uh, you have to forgive me. I'm... All right, let's see if we have power. All right. Now, I went through the manual, and I took down some notes, and uh, I'm going to tell you guys the quick way how to program these, or the quickest way I found. Now, what I'm going to do is the C button. See how the, the big numbers on top? I'm going to put it on the bottom. That's the VFO working channel that I'm going to be on. See, that's, oh, well, that's my local dispatch. I'll turn that off. Um, now I'm going to switch from either memory. You see how right there I got a channel 4? And now there's nothing. So now I'm in VFO mode. Let me turn this up. Now, I want to enter my frequency of the repeater that I listen to in so it's one four seven three six zero now you want to go to menu and you can do this by either volume up volume down or channel up you want to go to save hit menu again and now you're going to toggle to the channel you want to put it on and i'll just put it on seven hit menu again and that's going to save that in the menu. I dropped my notes here. Okay, now I've saved it. Now you want to go to menu 8. Decode. I'm not, I don't have any digital decode on this one, so it's going to be off. Like you can see there. Back to memory menu. Um, let's go to 10. Encode type, and I use CTC. You can toggle through them, so they're CTC, NDCS, IDCS, off. Let's go to CTC, hit enter, or menu, I'm sorry. Now we want to go to 11, and I'm going to set the type of tone. And this is the PL tone. And mine's a PL tone of 100. Let's see if it works here. Ah, no, let's do that again. So you just hold it here. There we go. Oh, 100. Menu. Now we're going to go to 34. You could key it up on your hand, your mic, 34. Oh, that was menu four, sorry. 
34 repeater set. This is a plus 600 kilohertz, so you go 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0. That's the offset for the repeater. Hit set. Now you want to go to 35. Repeater type. That's S-I-N-G is for simplex. Minus, that's for the, usually the 70 centimeters. You want to go plus. Hit it again. And that should be it. Let's see if it comes up. Okay, let's wait for that to reset. And I just pulled up that repeater. So what I could do is I'm in VFO. I'll go to memory. And that was channel 7, I believe. There we go. So I'll key up KD7 MCI. And that's how you uh, program in your repeater list. And you can do the same thing for simplex. And uh, another good thing you guys could do is write down this card. And I'm going to keep this radio, uh, if you can see it, in just like a little draw tight bag. And I'm going to just put that and the instruction manual inside the draw type bag and next time you go to use it you're ready to go so uh, hope you guys found something uh, useful out of this uh, hopefully I taught you something how to program these these are a lot easier than the bow fangs for any of you who have the bow fangs you know what I'm talking about so uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by 73's to you and have a great day bye bye